Bob Sokia, I'm an application engineer with Keysight Technologies, and I'm going to talk in this video about some helpful tidbits and programming shortcuts related to the PNA Network Analyzer family. We'll take a look at the help file, some hooks in the help file to increase efficiencies. So let's get started. Okay, so here we've logged into our PNA Network Analyzer. I am running to a WinXP-based PNA Analyzer. And the first topic is we're going to take a look at the help. There's several ways to get at the PNA help file. Within the analyzer, across the uh, tab bar, help, Network Analyzer help, this is going to access the embedded help file on the analyzer. There are other methods if we don't have access to the PNA or we wanted to refer to the help file on a PC, we have a couple methods. What we'll do is we'll minimize the help. We will minimize the application. I've got a web browser open. That web browser is pointing to our PNA support page. And from there, left side of the page, uh, third icon down, and we see the PNA help. And it's going to give us several alternatives to the embedded file. We can get at the online version, which I've done there. So this assumes that you have web access and can drill into the PNA help file that's online version. Always going to be the most current version of help with any updates, changes, etc. These help files will freeze as a function of ongoing and higher releases of firmware. For example, the one we drilled into is Rev A0990. There are later versions. That would be A1020. That's going to be for a Windows 7 base machine. The other thing we can do is we can download various releases of the PNA help file as a CHM or a compiled HTML file. And then we don't need web access and we don't need the PNA. We can have that on any PC and we can view that file at any time that's convenient for us. Um, there is a note here if you have a problem after you download the file about security settings that you may have to change. Just drill into this and this will give some more details on what should be done. Let's go back. The other alternative version, item three in this list, is a printable version of the uh, PNA help file. What I'd like to say is I never have used the PDF file, and I do not recommend it. Uh, when I downloaded and took a look at this AO990 26 megabyte PNA help PDF file, the page count is over 4,000 pages. And when you do the PDF, you lose all the embedded hyper hot links that the compiled HTML, the embedded um, PNA help file, and the online help file version all have integrated in them. So uh, I've never used the PDF file. And again, I think if you do start with the PDF file, that's going to be an avenue for frustrations. But uh, it's still very thorough, and some people do choose to print despite the 4,000 pages. All right. Let's go back. Let's use our embedded PNA help file. So we're back in the application. We're in help. We're in the network analyzer help. We'll open this up a little bit. And we're going to drill into the programming section. So we drill into the programming section. One of the most common recommendations I make as an assistance or a, an efficiency for starting up in programming with PNA, whether that's Skippy, standard commands for print, programmable instruments, or COM, is this item one from a simulated PNA user interface. So, for example, as a user, if you know that when you're at the PNA, you, let's say you wanted to save a, a, a CSA file, I would do that as user under the file, save as, CSA, I would give it a name, And it hit save. So I did a file, save as. I know this as a user from the UI, the user interface on the front panel. From the help, what I can use 
within the programming section, again, is this item one from a simulated PNA user interface. So I said, well, I know how to do a file, save recall, and that results in an M memory store as an equivalent Skippy command. The resultant page of shows both the Skippy command, standard commands, programmable instruments, as well as the COM or common object model of the PNA. Uh, COM would imply running embedded as a common object model on the PNA. There's also DCOM, which will be distributed COM through a LAN and a remote PC. Focus today is Skippy. So uh, once I say file, save, recall, I know that is a user from the UI, I can drill into the memory store. It saves an instrument state as a CSA, a CST state file, a dot .cal file. Drill in more, and I can get even more detail on this command. Um, this is just a definition that meets a Skippy structure. MM store, square brackets mean that this is optional. A file is required, so you're going to give it a file name. And within that help, it's going to be some examples. MM store as a string within a string, mydata.s2p, that would be a touchstone file. So let's go back. And, and this type of approach to an easy button to finding commands based on knowledge of keystrokes, um, this is very, very helpful. Mm -hmm.